What is up guys, KDub175 back with another Pokemon Duel video, and today I really just wanted to break down the new gem sale that they have going on, and just kind of do a little bit of math and see which gem package is really the best value for your money, and we'll take a look at the loyalty rewards as well. Alright, so October Gem Boost Event, up to 100% more gems, and if you take a look, only the 12 gems to 24 gems is 100%. None of the other ones is going to give you 100% more gems. So um, we'll take a look at the actual prices and how many gems we're getting and how many loyalty points we're going to get. But I just thought it was kind of funny the way that they're trying to advertise this. Um, yeah, so. So we're going to open up the shop and all the prices are going to be the same. Um, we're used to seeing how they price out the gems. But we're going to see how many gems we're getting and um, kind of do some math and see what we're actually paying per gem. So if you look at the $1 deal is the 100% boost. We're, we're getting double gems. But it's actually the least value for your money because you're paying 4.2 cents a gem. $1 for 24 gems. Okay, so that's the worst deal. <laughs> Um, and the best deal is obviously always the $80 uh, package, um, which is only 61.5% more gems. But you're only paying 2.5 cents per gem. And just to cover the other ones real quick, um, the $40 package, you're getting 69% more gems, a total of 1,478. Uh, you're paying 2.7 cents a gem. $20 package is an 83.6% boost total of 661 gems at 3 cents per gem. The $8 package is an 85% boost, 222 total gems at 3.6 cents per gem. And the $4 package, 89.4% boost, total of 108 gems, and you are paying 3.7 cents per gem. So that pretty much sums up the cash to gem ratio and uh, lets you see what kind of value you're getting for your money. So let's take a look at the points that they give you for each gem package. And this is going to count toward the monthly loyalty rewards, which I'm sure we all want. And the million dollar question is how can we get the most monthly loyalty rewards for the least amount of money? But you guys can definitely see here that you get 9,800 points for $80, 4,800 points for $40, 2,400 points for $20, 960 points for $8, 480 points for $4, and 120 points for $1. So let's just jump over to take a look at the monthly loyalty rewards. These are all the tiers. Uh, I call them tiers. Um, you know, you have the 120 points, the 600 points, 1,400 points, 2,500 points, 3,300 points. Uh, 6,200 points, and the big one, 9,000 points, which I'm sure we all want. <laughs> but I'm not going to focus on the lower tiers. I'm only going to focus on the 3,300 points, 6,200 points, and the 9,000 points. Because the 3,300 points is the first monthly loyalty reward tier that you can get the QBX. And I think the QBX is the best part of the whole reward system but the daily login bonuses are definitely awesome as well don't get me wrong with the gold and the carmenite and the metal and everything yeah so if you only want to get the 3300 points tier then that's really simple because the cheapest route is the best route um, you can spend $28. You buy the $20 package and the $8 package, you'll get 3,360 points, which is just enough. You'll get 883 gems at three cents a gem. Now, if you want to get the 6,200 points tier, then the cheapest route for that is spending $52. You buy the $40 package, the $8 package, and then the $4 package. That'll give you 6,240 points, which is just enough. You will get 1,808 gems, which you're paying 2.9 cents a gem. So if all you care about is getting just enough points so you can reach that tier, then do that. But if you spend an extra $8, which is $60 total, you buy the $40 package and the $20 package, you'll get 7,200 points, which is way more than what you need and not nearly enough to reach the 9,000 points, but you will get 2,139 gems at 2.8 cents per gem. So for 331 extra gems for $8, it's like 2.4 cents a gem. So it might be worth it if you want more gems, but if you just want the loyalty rewards, then you can get there for $52. 
And this is all assuming that you guys don't have the $80 to just outright buy the $80 package. Because if you do and you don't care, then just do that and this video means nothing to you. But if you, you know, only have about $50, $52 that you can stomach or want to spend on this game in particular, or maybe $60, you know, because $20 more for the $80 bucks is, is a lot for some people. So, um, you know, that's why I mentioned that. But now we have the $9,000 point tier, the king of loyalty rewards. Okay, so the cheapest route to get there is $76. You buy the $40 package, the $20 package, and the $8 package, and then the $4 package twice. You'll get 2,526 gems, just enough points um, at three cents a gem, but it's only $4 less than 80 bucks. And for spending $80, you get so much more for it, okay? So, for $4 more, you're going to get an extra 639 gems, which is basically 6 tenths of a cent per gem. So, for $80, bucks, you are going to get 3,165 gems, and you're going to get all the fulfillment bonuses, including the monthly login bonuses for the 9,000 point tier. So, unfortunately, if you do want the 9,000 point tier, I mean, you can get there for 76 but... It's for that four dollars more. It, there's just you're losing out so much if you don't just spend the eighty bucks. But yeah, hopefully that didn't confuse anybody and it actually helped you guys out. Um, and before I take off out of here, I did want to go over this notification that we got regarding the gem sale bug. So back on the 18th of August, there was this bug where you could get the eight dollar gem deal for 876 gems as many times as you wanted, but only certain devices could take advantage of it. So we already got the booster ticket, but they're saying here that if you're a player that spent money at the normal rate, depending how much money you spent, they're gonna compensate you gems for that. So if you were actually able to buy five of the gem deals, which is $40, you would have got 4,380 gems, but you only get 876 at the normal rate. So are they going to give you the difference of 3,504 gems? Like, check your account. Let me know. Because, I mean, you guys could be getting a huge payday if you spent money at the normal rate. Because basically, you're paying one cent a gem for the $8 gem deal when you get 876 gems. So that's what I'm getting from it. Depending how much money you spent, like, they're going to compensate you the difference between what people got for the gem deal and what you got for the normal rate which i think is just really awesome it's about time pokemon duel actually you know gave out an apology to the people that it affected most because if you already took advantage of the bug and then you get rewards on top of that i mean it's it's just not fair for the people who didn't get to benefit from it so yeah i just think that's awesome so definitely let me know if any of you guys watching spent money at the normal rate during that time the bug was in effect and you've already received gems in your inbox or if you end up getting gems in your inbox you know once we get the new banner let me know because i'm curious to see how this works out definitely um and i hope you know people do get something that's worthwhile for once instead of a booster ticket that just gives you an uncommon <laughs> But uh, yeah, that's going to be it for this one, guys. Hopefully this video helped you out, though. Um, that's all I wanted to do was to kind of break down the math. I know it might have been a little bit boring for a lot of you. Um, very trainer tips like getting down into the math. But um, yeah, I just wanted everybody to know kind of the cheapest route they could go to get the highest monthly reward tier possible for what they can afford. So I hope I've done that, and if I have, smash that like button, and I'm definitely planning on doing a booster opening, hopefully tomorrow, I really want to do it tomorrow, assuming that the figures are good. I know we're all expecting the Tapu Lele, but um, yeah, hopefully the figures are really good, but if I can't do it tomorrow, I'll do it the next day, and I do have these time boosters ready to go, already a rainbow and a black box, another rainbow on the way. Uh, I'll probably have another one as well after I play a match and get my lockbox. I have 12 booster tickets that I got from the monthly league ranking. I got top 3,000. It wasn't great, but I didn't have enough time, so eh, it is what it is. But yeah, yeah subscribe to the channel so you don't miss that booster opening or future Pokemon Duel videos. And 
follow me on Twitter, because I do post screenshots and other things related to Pokemon Duel. Until next time, later guys.